My name is Marissa and I'm the Umbrian Sewist. Thanks for joining me today. Today is the second part to my sort of Q1 plans specifically focused on key types of items I want to get sewn up. So if you haven't checked out my first video about the shirts that I want to focus on, then um, check that out. I'll put the link in the description box. But this is the second part. So as a recap, I am going to focus 2023 and I'm going to focus on a quarter by quarter basis. Q1, I want to focus on, in addition to sewing other things, um, I want to focus on shirts and bags. So the first video I went through the shirt patterns I'd like to get sewn up, starting with the Montana shirt by Itch to Stitch, which hopefully I will get cut out today and start this week and fingers crossed get done this week. I'm really excited to do that. Um, and the second topic is bags. So I've got a whole bunch of patterns um, here that I want to get sewn up. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, I'm off to the U.S. in, sorry for banging the camera. I'm off to the U.S. on the 17th of February. And so for the bag making specifically, I've been sort of going through all the patterns because with bag making, there's a lot of sort of haberdashery type items you need. And I have been making sure that I have all of the items. And if I don't, I've ordered them. And it's a sort of a little treat uh, of little packages will, which will be waiting for me when I arrive at my parents' house. Now, my parents don't know I do a YouTube channel. I have no intention of telling them because my dad will probably say things like, people can stalk you, um, people will know about you, and all of these sort of slight fearful things that... I'm not going to elaborate on this anymore, but you will get what I'm saying. So anyway, but I will try to, while I'm in the U.S., in a quiet corner, show some of the things that I get up to because I do plan to do some fabric shopping. My mom also sews. She's more of a quilter. She doesn't sew garments at all, but she's always happy to go shopping. So we will be doing shopping. We will be buying some fabric type things, and I hope to bring you along. I'm already going off topic. So I'm going to reel myself back and tell you about the bags that I plan to make. So I am going to get started with some of these. Now, some of these bags are already in, already have um, quite a lot of the items. And in some cases, I believe I have all of the items. So technically I could get started. So the first bag that I want to make is a Merchant and Mills bag, which is called the Factoto. Now, I believe these line drawings do not make it look very nice, but I have seen loads of um, actual pictures of this bag and I'm really excited to make it. So a while back, not a while back, probably in November, I placed an order with, um, at, with the Zipper Zoo, Zipper Zoo, a company I believe based in Belgium. And I purchased the fabric for the outer and the lining. So for the outer, I purchased this lovely wax cotton, which I believe is a wax cotton from Mind the Maker. Um, and uh, it's very dark blue, but it is navy. And um, that will be the outer. And then I purchased a canvas for the lining. Now those don't look the same color, but they are both blue. So, I plan to use those for the factotum. Now, the factotum, let's tell you a little bit about it. The factotum does not have a description, but I'm going to describe it to you. It is a quite a straightforward boxy bag, okay? And um, you have several options with the, you have a, you can do leather or you can do a webbing. You've got these cool pockets that sort of have a 3D effect, so they sort of pop out. Um, is there an inside pocket? No idea. Can't remember. Um, I do not believe there is. Now, I decided to go for the um, webbing because I wanted just to keep it quite casual. And um, yeah, so I've gone with the blue webbing, which will look nice. And I've gone with silver hardware. So I bought some zipper tape with a nice silver zipper pull and silver hardware. And as I said, lots of um, bits and pieces that you need. And then little rivets. 
okay? So actually, technically, I could start on this. So that is gonna be my first make. And that's actually, I believe, the most involved make. But super excited to start with that. Um, I actually received that pattern for Christmas last, not 2022, 2021. So it is about time to get that made. So that's the first item, which I will put down here. The second item is from Noodlehead. So I have a bunch of Noodlehead patterns. And I've actually made this before. This is the Minimalist Wallet. And this is the one I use now, the big one. And I really, really like it. I made it with the intention of like sort of testing it out. But the testing it out one I've been using for the almost last two years. So I want to make this again. Now I did place an order with Noodlehead and I ordered myself this piece of leather here that fits perfect, which I'm really excited about. I also ordered myself some of these little leather poles and those are waiting for me in Seattle at my parents' house. Now the fabric I'm using, you will have seen if you've seen previous videos because I have quite a bit of this and I've already made myself my laptop case and my electronics case, which I will be showing my next Friday shows, but I have more and I absolutely adore this. And I thought, well, this is the kind of fabric I love and I wanna look at it all the time. So what a great fabric to use for the wallet. So I am going to use that. I've also got um, this pretty zipper and zipper pull again from Zipper Zoo. Really nice quality stuff. And once I collect the uh, leather items in Seattle, when I get back, I will be ready to make that. And um, I get back towards the end of February, so I will have the entire month of March. This is not a difficult sew, um, but I wanna make it in such a way that will last for a long time. Now, the next item is another um, noodle head pattern, and it is not something I've made before, and it is the Yarrow wristlet, and this is it right here. Now, again, just like with the wallet, it comes in two sizes. I want to make the larger size. Let me show you the larger size. Okay. This is the wristlet. This is sort of the interior. So with the wristlet, you may see here, it sort of sews all, or it opens all the way here. It has plenty of space for sort of cards, money, a phone, um, but yes, quite cool. And again, with Noodlehead, I placed an order and I've ordered some of this. And uh, those are the same zipper tabs. So I'm really excited to make that. I am making it in quite a fun, funky fabric. Now, again, if anyone's been watching me for a while, you know that I made my son a very cool shirt, collared shirt, in this awesome animal print fabric. And I do have enough left to make myself the wristlet. So I'm gonna make it with that. And I've got this linen, um, gray linen, which I will use for the inside and the zipper pockets. And in, for, in this case, I have ordered um, specific zipper tape um, that will look nice with that. So gray zipper tape um, that I will pick up again in the States when I visit. So that will have all of the supplies waiting for me when I arrive there. So when I get back, I'll be able to, to cover that. So yeah, that's another noodle head pattern, which is the Yarrow wristlet. Okay, moving along. Then I, again, fall in these rabbit holes. I looked at the Sally Tomato, which is a weird name, but it is the name, uh, website, and um, saw a super cute, okay, this is stuck, pattern, which is actually free, and they've just released it. Um, I'm going to have to put a picture here of what it looks like, but it's basically like... Um, you know, I don't want to use the word that I used to word, use, but I don't know the word for it. It's like a, okay, it's like a fanny pack that you would wear around your waist, but nowadays people seem to wear them across body. Anyway, it's a small one, and um, I thought it looked quite cool. 
So I have already cut out and I believe I'm almost ready. Oh no, I, I have to just get the twill tape. No, the, the buckle, the buckle part. And that again, I've ordered and is waiting for me. And I have decided to use this for the outer. And again, this for the inner. Now people tell me, that the teddy bear is very in style. So I thought I'd use that for the outer. And um, I've got some zipper tape already. This is quite a cool black zipper tape with the bronze. Um, bronze. I've got enough for an outer pocket. And then I'm doing that for the inner pocket. And yeah, so that's all ready. The only thing I'm waiting on is the, um, the name has escaped me. It's the, you know, the clip and the, not twill tape, it's webbing, that's it, webbing. Okay, so when I was on the Sally Tomato, I um, also saw some other free patterns, so you should definitely check it out. There's some free bag patterns that they've just released. Now, the last pattern company that, um, I have three patterns here to make, are, is Incomplete Stitches. I love the style of the patterns, and um, just the sort of creativity and things. So I actually have three patterns. So the first one is this cute little pouch called the Milestone Pouch. Now, I have, again, none of these I've made. I do wanna make them. Um, I thought this was quite a fun little pouch, um, great for scraps and um, yeah, what more to say about it. There's definitely loads of variations. If you check out Incomplete Stitches, that's one thing you will notice is they have tons and tons of variations on all of their um, all of their patterns. So it's a super versatile and creative pattern. You can see even just on this picture, you can do the zipper or you can just leave it plain. You can have hook, you can have this drawstring or not drawstring, this string. So there's loads of options with that pattern. The next one is the sunrise um, pouch. Again, this is a zipper pouch with like a million options for pockets, for color blocking. And um, again, I've ordered a bunch of these sort of leather uh, loops um, just to kind of make it look a bit more professional. And those will be waiting for me in the States. The last one is the planetary backpack, which I'm super excited about. This is, I'll show you some more pictures here. This is um, sort of quite a cool backpack pattern. Let me see if there's variations. So you can see here, you've got the little clip here and um, the sort of typical backpack with the webbing. And um, yeah, I thought that would be really, really fun. So I may take these with me to the States just to sort of find fabric and um, the haberdashery items. But actually really what I need to do is I these three patterns, um, I need to sort of verify I have all the haberdashery. Now I've pulled out a couple of fabrics specifically for um, these last three that I thought would be fun. Now one is this, which is basically, um, I purchased these fat quarters. These are actually small pieces. Um, this is a fat quarter bundle that I got from Minerva many years ago and I had lots of little bits and I just love how colorful it is. And so I sort of patched them all together to make one larger piece of fabric. And this is another piece that was from the Fat Quarter Bundle. So I thought, you know, if something was lined, this could be the outside and this could be the inside. Quite colorful, quite funky. I thought that would be good maybe for one of the pouches. And then the other fabric I have here is just this really, really pretty sort of denim chambray, which I also thought just could be quite neat, could maybe for the backpack. Um, the lining or something else. So these were just pieces that I thought would be quite nice for um, bags. So that was a very quick whiz through the um, bags that I would like to make in the first quarter of this year. Quite a lot, but two months is a long time. And some of these will literally take no time at all. So I am really excited um, really to tackle the Merchant Mills Factotum, Factotum, something like that. Obviously everything will be in the description box um, and also the backpack because those two will be sort of slightly more involved, more techniques, more, more 
things, more haberdashery items. And um, so I'm really looking forward to making those. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're all well. I hope it is lovely weather where you are. I am going to say goodbye and get cutting out my shirt. So have a great rest of your day, great week, and I will speak to you soon. Bye. Thank you.